Recent advancements by Chinese scientists have highlighted a novel approach to genetic manipulation which has the potential to revolutionize food security. By utilizing a CRISPR-based gene editing system, researchers have discovered a method to bypass the traditional principles of natural plant gene inheritance. This breakthrough enables the transmission of preferred genes at rates significantly higher than those dictated by Mendelian inheritance. The classical principles which assert that each allele in a gene has a 50% chance of being passed on to the next generation have limited the efficiency of breeding for ideal genes, especially those that may be detrimental to the plants. The team from the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Peking University, in their paper published in Nature Plants, revealed that they achieved gene transmission rates of up to 99% over two generations. This was made possible through a system that employs both a toxin and an antidote to target the male plant germline. The innovative CRISPR-assisted inheritance utilizing NPG1, Kane system as they named it, uses a guide RNA-Cas9 cassette to disrupt the no pollen germination 1, NPG1 gene, limiting pollen germination. A CRISPR-resistant antidote copy of NPG1 then rescues the pollen cells carrying the desired gene drive, resulting in greatly enhanced transmission rates. Overcoming Mendelian inheritance. The implications of overcoming Mendelian inheritance are profound. Synthetic gene drives inspired by natural selfish genetic elements present transformative potential for disseminating traits that benefit humans throughout wild populations, even if those traits come with fitness costs. Traditional breeding methods have struggled with balancing the inheritance of beneficial yet potentially harmful genes. The cane system, however, demonstrates the ability to achieve near-perfect transmission rates, paving the way for more efficient genetic modification of plant populations. The researchers chose Thale Cress, a self-pollinating plant from the mustard family, as their model to minimize the risk of unintentionally releasing cane into wild populations. The synthetic gene drive system's effectiveness is underscored by its ability to modify entire plant populations efficiently. Furthermore, the cane system's potential applications extend beyond Thale Cress, as the NPG1 gene is conserved across many plant species. This opens up possibilities for targeting herbicide-resistant genes in weeds, thereby reducing the need for excessive herbicide use and promoting environmental sustainability. Balancing crop protection and environmental concerns. The cane system offers a promising approach to balancing crop protection with environmental considerations. Traditional herbicide usage often leads to environmental degradation and loss of biodiversity. By targeting herbicide-resistant genes in weeds, the cane system could reduce the need for chemical herbicides, mitigating their negative environmental impact. This gene-drive-based approach aligns with the goal of optimizing agricultural productivity while preserving ecological balance. However, the researchers acknowledge potential risks associated with gene drive technologies, particularly in cases of intentional misuse. To safeguard against such scenarios, they propose the creation and release of suppressor lines. Editing the native NPG1 allele to resist Cas9 cleavage is one suggested method to counteract misuse, providing a layer of protection against unintended consequences. Advancing biotechnology amid geopolitical tensions. In a separate but equally significant development, Chinese scientists have introduced a new gene editing tool that surpasses CRISPR technology in certain aspects. The SIDENT system, developed by researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Genetics and Developmental Biology, offers a more efficient and precise method for gene editing. Unlike CRISPR-Cas9, which relies on splitting double-strand DNA, SIDENT performs strand-specific editing without any cuts, thereby reducing the risk of imprecise edits and undesirable mutations. Kevin Zhao, one of the study's authors, explained that SIDENT uses a protein-based approach, eliminating the need for a guide, RNA. This makes it particularly effective for editing DNA in challenging locations, such as human mitochondria or plant chloroplasts. The precision of SIDENT allows for more controllable and efficient research, 
opening new avenues for therapeutic applications and agricultural advancements. Challenges and potential of Sident. Despite its potential, the development of Sident comes at a time of increasing geopolitical tensions, with potential US export restrictions looming over China's biotech sector. The US has already taken steps to restrict Chinese access to certain technologies, citing national security concerns. These restrictions could impact the development and deployment of tools like Sident, which partially rely on imports. Nonetheless, China is making concerted efforts to bolster its biotech capabilities. Zhao noted that significant progress is being made in lab product development within China, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign technology. Sident's modular design allows for customizable applications, and ongoing research will determine the most effective combinations for various editing tasks. The implications of Sident extend beyond human therapeutics to agricultural applications. In plant chloroplasts, where photosynthesis occurs, precise editing could enhance the efficiency of converting sunlight to energy, potentially leading to higher crop yields. This precision and versatility make Sident a valuable tool for exploring previously uneditable DNA and advancing genetic research in both medical and agricultural fields. Future directions and ethical considerations. As genetic engineering continues to evolve, ethical considerations and biosafety measures will play a crucial role in shaping its future. The potential for gene drive technologies to reshape ecological management and agricultural practices is immense, but so are the risks. Researchers must navigate the delicate balance between innovation and safety, ensuring that these powerful tools are used responsibly and ethically. The breakthroughs in gene editing exemplified by the Kane and Sident systems highlight the rapid advancements in biotechnology. These tools offer unprecedented opportunities to address global challenges such as food security, environmental sustainability and disease treatment. However, they also underscore the need for robust regulatory frameworks and international cooperation to prevent misuse and ensure that the benefits of these technologies are realized for the greater good. Advanced Gene Editing Applications In a novel advancement, researchers at the Innovative Genomics Institute have developed a highly targeted CRISPR delivery system capable of editing genes in living animals. This new method employs enveloped delivery vehicles, EDVs, which harness antibody-antigen interactions to deliver genome editing tools specifically to targeted cells. This approach was successfully demonstrated in mice with humanized immune systems where EDVs were used to create gene-edited CAR T-cells in vivo. The ability to perform gene editing within the body streamlines the process, potentially making CRISPR therapies more accessible and cost-effective. The IGI team, led by Jennifer Doudner, aims to expand this research to target tissue-resident stem cells and other non-immune cells. By focusing on in vivo delivery, the researchers hope to overcome current limitations related to the extraction and reinsertion of cells, which can alter their biology and reduce the efficiency of gene editing. This advancement underscores the potential of CRISPR technology to revolutionize therapeutic approaches and broaden the scope of genetic research, particularly in fields like immuno-oncology and regenerative medicine. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the latest advancements in gene editing. We hope you found the information valuable and insightful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on cutting-edge scientific developments. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.